Achondroplasia. What is achondroplasia? A means without, chondro refers to cartilage, and plasia means growth. So this is basically impaired cartilage growth or proliferation. This is common cause of dwarfism. And as you may notice from this picture, these individuals have a normal head and a normal trunk. And the reason that this occurs is, if you may recall from embryology, there are two types of bone formation, intramembranous bone formation. This is not affected. However, you may notice in these individuals that their extremities are shorter. They are not developed properly. This is due to impaired endochondral cartilage bone formation. These individuals have um, an activating mutation on the fibroblast growth factor receptor 3. So the FGFR3 is increased in expression, so you have too much of this receptor on the cell surface. And what your body does is it responds by saying, hey, you're giving too much of a growth signal, so they're going to inhibit growth. So growth is going to be inhibited. Achondroplasia tends to be sporadic. It has an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, fertility, lifespan, and mental function are not affected in these individuals. So they have normal fertility, lifespan, and mental function. The incidence of achondroplasia increases with increased paternal age. So looking at this uh, x-ray, we notice that the long bones have not developed properly. And the reason that these long bones don't develop properly is because the main mechanisms that long bones grow is due to endochondral bone formation. In summary, Achondroplasia refers to impaired cartilage proliferation that inhibits growth plate and uh, long bone formation. And these individuals end up with short extremities, however, their head and trunk are normal. And the mutation is an overexpression of FGFR receptor 3. It is an overexpression of FGFR 3 that leads to inhibition of growth.